Hi, Les from Thailand here, retired and living the dream and today's video is going to be about can you really afford to retire these days. I've been watching the news both in the UK and in Australia with regard to the cost of living going up. So what are they blaming? They're blaming the situation of what's just been happening for the past two years and now with the war in Ukraine, it's shooting everything up. The cost of living, petrol, food, everything has a knock-on consequence because of what's been happening over the past two or three years. Now this affects everybody, absolutely everybody, from the poorest people up to middle income. But of course, the wealthy, they can weather the storm, no problem, because a wealthy person is always a wealthy person. But for those people who are living on poverty wages, middle income are actually suffering now because of the amount of money it's costing everybody to live nowadays with food, fuel, heating. So what prompted me to do this video was watching the news this morning on Sky News with regard to the energy costs going up in the UK. And the, the average energy cost is going to go to seven or eight hundred pounds a year extra because of what's been going on. Now, who gets a wage rise of seven, eight hundred pounds per year? In April next month, the national insurance is going to go up. That's going to cost people a lot more money. So the cost of living in the UK, as it is in America and Australia, is rocketing through the roof. So the video is, can you afford to retire back in the UK? Now, for those people who don't have a private pension or anything else like that, and it comes to retirement age of 66 now, it is, you're going to receive your pension in the UK, I think about £800 a month, something like that. Don't quote me on them figures, but I've been told it's around about that amount of money. Now, living on £800 in the UK per month is virtually unachievable. There are other benefits that you can claim with regard to housing and things like that, but when all said and done, you ain't going to live a good lifestyle for that amount of money per month. The same in America. I've watched a couple of an American, the American dream, or as it used to be called, the American dream. Again, that's unachievable. There are various states in America that the government are actually purchasing property to make available for teachers because teachers can't afford to buy a property in these areas because it's become too expensive for the average working person to be able to buy such properties. Again, for me in England, to live this lifestyle that I've got here now in Thailand, it's virtually impossible. In fact, I would say it's 100% impossible to be able to live the lifestyle that I live here. Things are more affordable living here in Thailand. So again, the crux of this video is reassess your situation. Retirement in your home country, it may be time to spread your wings and go to a, a cheaper country, not necessarily Thailand. I can only speak about Thailand because I actually live here. But everything, but everything is much more affordable living here in Thailand. You can live here on the state pension that the UK government gives you. In fact, I'm going to do another video showing what you can get for six, between six and 10,000 baht per month living here in Thailand and what lifestyle you can live, living on that amount of money every month. And I know several people that just live on their state pension every month and they have a, a good life here compared to what life would be in the UK. Okay, everything isn't rosy in the garden here. There are other hoops to jump through with regard to the visa application and fulfilling the rights of 65,000 baht a month for retirement. But there are mechanisms put in place that you can get around this system and be able to, to show the immigration that you have this amount of money every month. No problem whatsoever. I've got a couple of systems that I've worked out and everything that I offer and everything that I explain about is 100% legal. And there's nothing illegal about doing the system that I recommend. There is no way around the health system. I would advise everybody that they should have adequate medical insurance coming here and living here in Thailand. But there are a lot, a lot of people living here without medical insurance. Now I've had medical insurance every day since I've been living here and I've lived here now for 11 years. But what I would suggest is for, as a minimum, take out the minimum insurance to sort of put a stick and plaster on whatever ails you, enough 
so you can get back home to your home country and get medical treatment back in your home country. My medical coverage for only 800,000 baht and I think that will cover most things to, to sort of get me into a position where I could get on a plane and go home. Now I might be totally wrong about that but that's what my plan is. I'm a relatively healthy guy but my medical cover for 800,000 baht for a 61 year old is 20,500 baht not prohibitively expensive I have to pay for any outpatients cover but at the end of the day 800,000 baht isn't going to cure everything but for me it might just be enough to be able to put a stick and plaster on it so I can get on a plane and go back to the UK so I'm going to do a few more videos in the next week or so with regard to the cost of living here in Thailand now I live on 55,000 baht a month and I'm buying this house where I'm living at have a look at this video here and it goes about the house that I bought and what you can buy here in Thailand now again you can buy a house over here okay there's the strings with it but you can buy a two bedroomed 60 square meter house over a seven year period for about 15,000 baht a month and after seven years it's yours and that equates to something similar what you'd pay for a rental of a various place now where in the world of certainly the western countries you could buy a, a 60 square meter detached house on a, in a nice location for for one million baht and i'll put the, the us and the australian dollar how much it equates to doing that so for those who want to know more about living here on a budget on a very tight budget and still having a good time watch the videos that i've done i've done many videos about living here in Thailand and it may be time to reassess your home situation as to actually whether you can afford a lifestyle in your home country or whether you need to, to look further afield and actually enjoy the time that you have free now that you're retired and to enjoy the fact that you're not living from hand to mouth every month and the fact that you can afford to live in a better location, better climate, better living standards than your home country now. Because I think America, Australia and UK are way above the quality of life that I was expecting when I got to my age. I couldn't afford this lifestyle back in the UK, but I can afford it here. Live comfortably every month. Don't worry about the electricity bill. Don't worry about the gas bill. Don't worry about the mortgage rates, things like that. It is totally and utterly affordable living in a different country to the western countries that we're used to living in you just have to think outside of the box and hopefully watch a few of my videos and you'll get my drift with regard to being able to live here in thailand or another cheaper country than the western countries america uk and australia in my mind have had the day they're far far too expensive to live in when you can live a, a quality better life elsewhere in the world so from les retired and living the dream in thailand till the next video bye for now